Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel. And today I got the Air Jordan 11 Jubilee. So uh, this shoe is going for 220 bucks. It has a release date on December 12th and they have full family sizing. So as far as the price goes for all of those, so the big kids Jordan 11 Jubilee is 180 bucks, <laughs> which is very, very expensive for a kid shoe, I would say. There's a little kid size for $95, and they have a toddler one, which is super cute, for 75 bucks. So this shoe is celebrating 25 years. So the 11 came out 25 years ago, which is insane, right? So I w it came out in 95, so that means I was one years old <laughs> when this shoe came out. So of course, I don't really remember like, oh dude, when it came out, I don't really have that nostalgic feeling, which I guess kind of sucks. Uh, I'm not as attached to this shoe as I guess older people, but of course I do like the Jordan 11 and Michael Jordan's legacy is legendary, you know? So as far as the box goes, so usually I don't really care about the box all too much, but the this box is actually really, really dope. So how you open it up is, you know, you got this black part right here, and then you got this gray part. So it opens up like that, which is really, really cool. And also another cool thing is the wax paper. So it says 1995 and 2020 with uh, the Jumpman logo. So around this time of year, of course, Jordan brand has been releasing a lot of Jordan 11s over the past few years. You know, it's a great Christmas gift and it's awesome to have for like the entire family, I would say. And it is releasing on the sneakers app, December 12th, 220 bucks for the, the, the adult sizes. So just be prepared for that. As far as the outsole goes, we have the iconic outsole here. So of course we have the two herringbone pods here in the forefoot and here in the heel. In this colorway, it's more of like a silver, like gray color, a very, very light gray, which looks great. Here in the Concords, it's more just like a, a purple. The rest of the outsole is like a milky white color, which looks great. It's not the icy blue translucent that uh, I've seen here in the Concords. It's a little bit more milky than that. And of course we have a full length carbon fiber plate, or I guess like it kind of cuts off here in the forefoot. So I guess a 3 4 length carbon fiber midfoot shank plate. But on their site, it says it's full length. As far as the cushioning goes, of course, we have a full length Phylon with a full length air sole unit. It is top loaded, so it feels nice, but there is a strobe board right on top of that. So if you, like you gotta break it in a little bit, you know? And also another little difference is that here on the insole, instead of the 23, like the font here in the back of the heel, it has a number 25 with the Jumpman logo on it, which is a really cool touch. And of course, the Air Jordan 11 is a very, very comfortable shoe to walk around in. It's way more comfortable than the ones, the threes, the, the fours and all that, you know? My favorite and most comfortable Jordan in my opinion, I guess, I guess up to the 15 is probably, probably the 12 with the full length zoom unit, you know? As far as the upper goes, we have a patent leather. That's what the Air Jordan 11 is known for. It's actually real patent leather here. And you have a, a pretty nice thick cut of it as well. And then here in the heel, you have a nice leather material. The tongue and the material around the laces is made of a ballistic nylon or a ballistic mesh material. Uh, the tongue has a good amount of padding. You know, it's basically the same as every other Jordan 11. And you have a little bit of padding here in the ankle area as well. So just be careful, you know, when you're walking around, of course, every single Air Jordan 11 does crease up a lot because of the patent leather. Here on the eyelets, it says Jordan on both sides of the shoe, which is great. Apparently that was in the original design sketches of Tinker Hatfield for the Air Jordan 11. But of course, and they didn't really stick with it, right? But in this special edition colorway, I feel like that's a nice little touch. Here in the heel, we have a metallic Jordan logo. It's made of metal, which is really cool. And the Jumpman is facing towards the toe in both of the shoes. Here in the back of the heel, we have the number 23. And it's also not like a very cheap print on. Sometimes this print will kind of like fall off. This is more just like a plastic material, but I feel like it's gonna stay on the shoe a lot longer <laughs> than this type of material. Here under the tongue, it says quality basketball products inspired by the greatest player ever. And then here on the tongue, we actually have a leather patch 
We have a metallic Jumpman logo and it says Jumpman Jordan. As far as the fit goes, it fits true to size. It is pretty damn stiff here in the toe box area. So if you do want to ball in it, you're going to have to break that in a little bit, just like in every other, you know, Jordan 11, you know, like in Concords, I played in it. A lot of you guys uh, were mad when I did the does, does it basketball for the Concords for some reason, even though they're ball shoes. Um, but you know, I don't really ball in it too much anymore. I just kind of like wear it out now. But the Jordan 11 and the Jordan 13 are my favorite shoes to play in as far as like any shoe in his entire line. So if you guys want to get a great ball shoe, I mean the, the Jubilee is coming out. I mean, it's, it is 220 bucks, so probably you shouldn't, but uh, it's a great ball shoe to play in. So yeah, 25 years of the Jordan 11. Tell us what you guys think of this colorway, uh, the Jubilee colorway. Again, it's coming out December 12th for 220 bucks, and they are releasing full family sizes. But that's my overview. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.